What's up my people, bless up on yourself, welcome back to the channel, leave a like and also subscribe, click the top bell icon to get notified whenever there is anything new on the channel. So we have two videos that I'm going to share with you people, but before we get into the video, I'm going to share this with you zine. Cop celebrated conviction of reputed Clarendon gangster, Avatar. Dev Blair, known more widely as Avatar. A man the police claim is a dangerous gangster was convicted on Thursday of gun related charges, setting off celebrations among cops in Clarendon. Blair pleaded guilty to illegal possession of a firearm and two counts of shooting with intent in the Manchester Circuit Court, abruptly ending his trial, which began before Justice Judith Pusey on Monday. He is scheduled to be sentenced on January 29. Three previous gun related charges against him collapsed because witnesses refused to cooperate with authorities law enforcement sources disclosed. When the police in Clarendon heard that he was convicted, they rushed to the courthouse because they couldn't believe it. They were celebrating, said one police source. He is one of Clarendon's most notorious gangsters claim the source prosecutors natalie malcolm deputy director of public prosecution and cian nelson were prepared to lead evidence that avatar engaged members of the police team in a fierce gun battle when they attempt to arrest him at a house in clarendon in 2021 he was apprehended when he reportedly jumped from a second floor window to escape cops and was injured Two illegal gun was also seized at the scene. So, my people, I'm going to get into the video, you know. So, I see a video with a, a girl I walk with a scandal bag, Zane, and a bike man ride up on her close by and try to grab the bag and ride away. But she sighted him. And you know what the man do? The man double back to try to get the bag from her. And this is what she do. So you see where this person you do, double back try to grab the bag, but you know what I mean, the girl quick thinking cause him finna get the bag. Me I wonder what did he in the bag. You see me I say, that no look like say no shop she go go buy nothing, that look like say boy, is either some money or phone or something in the bag, where him the rider know about. Because me not think nobody I go see a person with a small bag like that. You know what I mean? A scandal bag and try to grab it from them. Because I could have one, one sardine or one, one mackerel in the bag. It look like saying no say something valuable in the bag there. You understand me? I say? So the girl just fling it over the yard with the dog them. Quick thinking. People wanna be careful upon the road. You see me? So the next video I'm gonna share with you people is the farmer MP. When my wife was shot and killed in a them bed. You see me I say? And them bring him in yesterday and them charge him. You see me I say? For my wife murder. And them say, boy, they're going to charge him for some other things also. You know what I mean? So I'm going to share the video. Then I share a post where it look like him daughter post on our social media page. As the police continue its investigation in the murder of Melissa Silvera on Friday, the 19th of January, 2024, after a question and answer session at the major investigation division office, about 12 midday, Jolan Silvera, age 52 years old, land developer of 2A Diamond Court, Stony Hill, St. Andrew, was formally charged by the police, that is the major investigation division, for the murder of his wife, Melissa Silvera. 
The investigation continues as we believe that there are other charges that will be laid against Mr. Silvera. I wish to express appreciation and thanks to every member of the investigative team. Those at Major Investigation Division led by Superintendent Hilton, I think it was a very professional, very thorough and comprehensive investigation that was done. It also demonstrated that the JCF is progressing very well and there is great integration of all the various departments within the force as we seek to create a safer Jamaica. I want to also express thanks to the public for whatever support they have given us. We believe that our stakeholders are very important to us achieving our objective as law enforcement officers and as a country. I also want to appeal to Jamaica that we collectively can make Jamaica a safer place if we all work together for the common good of this nation. Again, thanks to the team, and we'll continue to act professionally in all the matters that are brought before us. Gentlemen, I know that there is not a great deal that you can say, but there are questions that are being one of those questions relates to the use of science or the ballistic science or the forensic science, the use of technology, um, cyber forensics and that kind of thing. How much can you share with us about that aspect of the investigation and whether or not it has helped to bring us to this point of understanding? All right, I will answer the part regarding, as you know, the JCF continues to explore science as an important part of what we do. And in this investigation, all the sciences were applied from cyber, ballistics, um, telecommunications, all of those sciences were applied. And I will hasten to say, that this case was not one of the easiest one for us, but because there, are, there is a level of competence within the organization, we have the skill sets, very bright um, individuals who are well-trained at a first world standard. And this has resulted into us achieving what we have achieved. We have some excellent investigators, I mean, Mr. Hilton is leading a team of professional, highly skilled, highly trained, very committed, very enthusiastic and passionate about their job. And it's as a result of that why we are seeing the achievement that we have achieved. Um, Mr. Hilton may be able to speak now to some of the, the things that are being said uh, regarding um the whole um contamination of the scene so mr hilton yes um Kamish. the on getting the report at our division we visited the scene and we observed some things that were not normal as such we employed the services of all our technical experts from ballistics from the cfcd and other technical persons, and it has proven to us that some of our suspicions were correct. We continue to work with them. We have not yet completed all the work, but we have had sufficient information to move forward with the case, and we continue to do that. And, and I will say, in addition to what Mr. Hilton has um, spoken of, the, 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 the story about the renovation of the the home is factual. It's factual. Um, what was, can you speak to the extent of the renovation? The, 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 the room has been completely tiled. I've seen where signs of 
paint job. Um, I've seen signs where items of furniture have been. In terms of when a body or when a person who is deemed to be dead is taken to a medical facility, the role of the doctor is basically to confirm if the person is dead. If the person is not dead, then automatically they will respond based on their own training. But the, the, the person who pronounces an individual dead is not even requested to attend court because after that, it triggers other processes, for example, post-mortem. So essentially, that's, that's, that's it. So I heard the issue about how the, in relation to the instant case, why the doctor that pronounced the individual dead did not um, see that he's, he suffered gunshot wound. That is not the role of the doctor, really. It's the post-mortem that will reveal that. So in the instant case, it was the police that requested the autopsy to be done. So I know that the issue of cover-up is very, is a public discussion. But if the same police officer who went on the scene requested a post-mortem to be done, then in my own understanding and assessment of that, there is no there is no inkling or inclination that there is a cover-up because the post-mortem really is to reveal the cause of death, sudden death. There is a policy that guides the behavior of officers who attend a sudden death scene or any other um, incident of homicide. So, this is where data I don't know if I'm daughter, you know what I mean? I just assess her because I look at some of the picture and it look like say boy I'm daughter. And she shared the same last name as him and she look like she could be his daughter. You know what I mean? So this is what she share on her Instagram. So she has said wickedness can done. The way everyone focus on the view instead of the truth is sickening. So why you not tell with the truth then because we just see from outside you know you know the truth so why you know post the truth instead of post this simple as that you know what i mean we have to work off of what we say you see it and i in the bedroom she get killed so people are gonna say boy I him and then first them say boy she died of natural causes i know people are here say boy a gunshot so People are going to naturally one point finger at him. You see me I say? So people, just leave your comments in the comment section and let me know what you think.